Hello friends, in this video, I will solve a problem which was asked in J.E. Mains 2021. Okay, okay, let's see the question. So the statement of the problem is, a cube is placed inside an electric field. So we have been given an electric field. We have been given an electric field that is 150Y square J cap. Means we have been given an electric field which is in y direction and if we'll see carefully we will see that this electric field is not constant this electric field is a function of y that to in quadratic function means the magnitude of electric field is increasing as we are going towards y direction the side of the cube is 0.5 meter okay we are given the side of the cube that is 0 0.5 meter and is placed in the field as shown in figure so we have been given the figure the charge inside the cube is means they want to know about the charge enclosed inside the cube so these are the given data and this, this is what we have to find okay so we can see that we can directly find, find it with the help of Gauss law which say that the flux through a closed surface is 1 by epsilon naught times the charge enclosed by that surface flux that is Gauss's law and by applying it we can find the solution of this problem okay let's see how okay first give the area vector to all the faces of the cube so the area vector is perpendicular to the face so area vector to this face is like this 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 and the frontal face it will come out like this and for the this back face it would go out like this so flux and flux how the flux is given and it is given as the dot product of electric field and area vector okay so when we'll do the uh, dot product of all these six faces we will see that for this face okay let me do it with other color uh, other uh, another color for this face, this face, this uh, frontal face, and this backward face. For all these four phases, the angle between electric field and area vector is 90 degree. So, we know that the vector A dot vector B is given as mod of vector A mod of vector B and cos of theta and the value of cos 90 is 0 means for all these four surfaces the electric flux is 0 okay now with the remaining two faces which is this face and this face for this face we will see that at this point this face is at exit plane exit plane and on exit plane the value of y is 0 means at this plane the value of electric field is 0 because electric field is a function of y okay so even this phase will not contribute toward the flux okay so we are left with only this phase and for this phase the value of electric field will be electric field will be 150 y square and for this phase this phase uh, is is at y is equal to 0 0.5 because that is the value of side of a cube 0 0.5 square and j cap so this is the value of the electric field at this phase and area vector is what area vector is 0 0.5 square and j cap and the flux will be and the flux will be vector e dot vector a that would be 150 into 0 0.5 square j cap dot 0 0.5 square j cap and j cap dot j cap is 1 that is 150 into 0 0.5 square into 0 0.5 square and when we'll solve this that would come around will be that would be 37.5 into 0.25 and that would be equal to 9.375 so that is the flux but what we are interested in we want to know the charge enclosed 
so now we'll apply this so flux is 9.375 is equal to q enclosed upon epsilon naught the value of epsilon naught is 8.85 into 10 to power minus 12 and charge enclosed will be 9.375 into 8.85 into 10 to power minus 12 which will come around to be 82.96 into 10 to power minus 10 and if we'll round off it will be 8.3 into 10 to power minus 11 coulomb and if we'll see the options which this is the option one option b means option b is the correct option so that's all for this video thank you